Hey everyone, first tutorial here, I'm going to teach you how to make a ring machine pulley thing. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but I've heard it called a 50-50, uh, a dream machine, a ring thing. But anyway, basically it's a pulley system that means you weigh half on rings um, and it's much easier to practice positions and stuff. It's really easy to make, so I'll show you how it works first. You can probably then just go and make one yourself. Uh, but then I'll go into detail of exactly how I made mine. Okay, how this works is real simple. Basically, you have a pulley here, which rotates in the middle. You have a piece of rope and some gymnastics rings. Now, the rope attaches to the ring and to yourself via a harness. Like so. And the pulley goes in between the rope. Like that. And basically, all you do is hang this thing up and then when you pull on the ring, it pulls your body up. So it cuts your weight in half, making gymnastics rings much easier. So here's what you need to make it. First of all, you need some gymnastics rings, of course. These normally come with some strapping like this. They're about 14 pounds online, and if they come with this strapping, it's gonna make a step later on really easy, which is otherwise quite frustrating. Next, you're gonna need some rock climbing rope. I bought 18 meters from a local store. It's about one pound per meter but that was way too much. You don't need that much. You could get away with 15 and that would still be really generous. Next, you're gonna need two of these pulleys. These are quite expensive, 16 pounds each. You can get them much cheaper online for about seven pounds. You'll need two carabiners like this. These are probably optional because you could just tie the rope to a belt around your waist, uh, but it makes things much easier. And the final thing you'll need is a harness or some kind of belt that you can hang yourself from. You could probably improvise, um, I just bought the cheapest one in the shop, it was 40 pounds, but you can get one for 20 pounds on Amazon, which is pretty cheap. Ideally, you want a harness with two rings either side that you can attach the carabiners to. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't have the two rings. I just use these little bits that I think you're supposed to hang a chalk bag from, uh, and it holds my weight fine. If not, you can put them through there, so all good. Now, the first thing to do is to cut your rope. If you have these straps already when buying the rings, cut the rope in half. That's all you'll need to hang between the ring and the pulley. If you don't have these straps, you can improvise by cutting one and a half meters off of the rope twice. Now, when you cut this rope, it's gonna fray at the ends. So you'll need to burn it to melt it together so it stops the fraying. A really good tip that I didn't know, which I wish I knew when I bought all this stuff, is to get the guy in the shop to cut the rope into the sections you want before you start building it. That way they'll cut it really neat it won't fray and you'll be all good. Once your rope is cut, you'll need to learn how to put it all together. It's quite simple and there's one main knot I use to get this all set up. I pull a loop in the rope and simply just tie a knot in it. Then the carabiner is gonna be able to hang from here and that's gonna be able to attach to your body and you can also hang the pulley from here. There's also a stronger way to do this knot, I think. I'm no expert but you wrap around like normal, twist the rope again, and then put that bit underneath and pull tight. It's almost like the other knot, but doubled up. That's not very neat, but you get the idea. Right, the first step is to hang your two pulleys up. So, thread your rope through, and then just tie the knot again. Now bear in mind, when you do this, you'll have to tie the knot around your anchor point so that this is hanging from the ceiling. Alternatively, if you have the ring straps, this is the best way to do it. Just pull it through. You can then hang this up and thread it through like you normally would. The only downside to this is that there's loads of extra rope, which you can, you'll have to just hang up out of the way somewhere. So as you can see, I've got my pulley hung up as so. The ideal position would be to have it this way that would work if I had a straight bar across here, which I hang them from. But unfortunately with my setup, I have beams this way. It still works fine and it's still smooth. So don't worry too much. The next step is to tie the rope to the ring. It's exactly the same as the knot before. It's just a little more difficult because the ring's bigger. As you can see, the knot is quite far away from the ring. You want the knot to be as close as possible so you can just shuffle that up now.
Now the reason you want the knot close to the ring is because when this is hanging from the pulley, if the knot's uh, up here, when the rings go up, it will get caught in the pulley early, so you won't have the range of motion that you need. Do that twice, and then you can hang your rings up. Okay, next you're just gonna thread the rope through the pulley. If your pulley is hanging this way, you need to thread the rope from the outside to the inside, because that way, when the rope attaches to your hip here, you can pull on the rings this way and the ropes won't get caught. All right, so at this point, you should have two pulleys hung up and two rings hanging from them, like so. Okay, the next step, put your harness on. And attach your carabiners. All right, for the next step, you want to get the rings to an appropriate height. The best height is almost all the way at the top of the pulleys. Depends how high your ceiling is, but this is a really good point to be able to hang and do muscle ups and such. So basically as high as possible. The next step is to attach the rope to your harness. You just tie a knot exactly like we did before. So fold the rope and tie a simple knot in it. And then attach it to the carabiner. Now the next step is the most tricky, but having the black cords that come with the rings makes it much easier. So you need to attempt to get the other ring at exactly the same height. Now when you do this, it's probably not going to happen. So, I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm hooked up and the rings are at slightly different heights. So, if you're using ropes uh, to attach the pulleys to your ceiling, you're going to have to play around with the knots and get it in exactly the right place. If you have the black cords, you can just adjust the black cords that are attached to the pulleys to make them either longer or shorter to lift the rings up or down. And now the rings are exactly the same height. Now you'll probably have a lot of excess cord underneath where you're attached to your uh, harness. So roll that up. As you can see, I've got way too much rope. And you can just put this in a pocket or inside the harness and clamp the harness around it tightly so it's out of the way and neat. And at this point, you're ready to go. You can have your hands either side of the uh, cords here, depending on what you want to do. For front levers, you'll want them behind. For crosses, etc., you'll want them in front. It makes rings way easier, but they are still a challenge. Okay, when you want to take this apart, if you want to use it next time and not have to tie all the knots and keep everything in exactly the same place and the rings at the right length, don't do anything to the rope that is attached to the rings and your harness. Take down the pulleys first from the ceiling. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but I've taken down the pulleys and now the ring is in the right place with the knot and the rope is the correct length to my harness. Uncut the carabiner and leave the rope like that for next time, ready to hang up and go again. Ooh. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you build this, let me know how it goes. If you buy all the stuff on Amazon, you can get it for around 60 pounds all in. If you want an absolute ghetto setup with no carabiners, just using your own dodgy belt, you might die, but you can do it for about 35. My total cost uh, for my exact setup was 104 pounds. Uh, that's because I went to a shop and bought everything right away because I was impatient. But I got quite decent stuff, so I'm happy with it. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep training hard and let me know what you want to see next.